Doris Points for their beautiful piano music this evening. And uh, I'd also like to call forward Gino McAlder from Premier Properties. Gino is one of our sponsors this evening. And Karen Fielding from Equity Title. Equity Title is our second sponsor for the Lucky 13 Art Contest. In case you don't know what the Lucky 13 Contest is, if you look around the wall, you see these very small pieces of artwork. All of our con uh, contestants were asked to submit art that was less than 13 inches in dimensions. And this is what we've come up with this year, a collection of over 80 entries from all over the United States. We have at least 10 states represented here. And uh, we are going to award the winners this evening. We have $1,300 in prizes that uh, have been won by these folks. And um, also, just to start with, if I could have your attention so that uh, when we call for this, could those people who have artwork in the Lucky 13 competition please raise your hand? Congratulations to all of you. So I'm going to turn the mic over to Gino and Karen and we're going to hand out the prize money that they have donated to us as being sponsors of Lucky 13. And we're so pleased that this is their second year of sponsorship for this contest. We really thank you. Well, thank you. Uh, can everybody hear me out there? I'm, I'm going to make this kind of short and sweet. Um, obviously, Premier Properties, um, we're very, very proud to be uh, part and parcel of this again for the second year in a row. And teaming up with Equity Title, um, they are our partners in real estate, not on paper, but we, we work pretty closely together with, with those guys. And uh, needless to say, we are very, very proud to be part of this, and uh, we hope to continue it. And I'm going to give this to Karen and let her continue. Thank you. Okay, so how long do I have? About 45 minutes to talk? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I'm Karen Fielding from Equity Title, and it is also my pleasure to be sponsoring this event, um, Lucky 13, with Gino Withhelder and Premier Properties for the second year. You know, uh, last year they said, Karen, you want to do this? And I'm like, with Gino? Absolutely. I would never turn down an opportunity to work with Gino Withhelder and Premier Property. So it is a great honor for me to be up here again sponsoring this with Gino. So, and I just wanted to remind you, we will be selling raffle tickets up to the minute we raffle them off. So if you have not bought your raffle tickets, raise your hand. We'll have somebody come to you. Everybody's got their raffle tickets? There's only a few left, and have you seen have you seen the prices up here? The golf package alone is, is worth a million bucks. And Christmas, okay, maybe not a million. Linda's like, no. And Christmas is coming up. Some of these are great gifts for, for Christmases. So again, by the show of hands, who does not have their tickets? Okay, looks like it's, uh, everybody's got their tickets. Yay! Thank you, everybody, for coming tonight. And um, we're going to go ahead and start with announcing the winners.
Okay, if, if we can have your attention for just another second, please. Um, the next award goes to Moonlight Seascape by artist Gordon Swan. Is Gordon here? Oh. Gordon could not be here, but anyway, uh, congratulations to Gordon for his Moonlight Seascape. And I'm, I'm going to continue here just one more, and then I'll turn it back over to Karen. Um, Okay, I, I understand we, we've got some absentees, but anyway, I'm going to announce the awards. Uh, 13 Voices by artist Jeff Oldham, obviously is not here. Um, Marble, Marbles 36, Green and Silver by artist Mary Norman, obviously not here, but congratulations. Betsy's Best by artist Kent Lang, is Kent here? No, oh, no. Oh. Autumn Decay, that sounds like my golf game. <laughs> By artist Fish Clano. Yeah. The Troubadour by artist Sharon Grubbs. I guess she is not here as well. Winter's Grace by artist Judith Bays. Judith again is not here and Here's something that I could probably use, Box of Chocolates, by artist Gary Bateman. Gary here? Okay, um, I'm gonna turn this back over to Karen and she can go up the road and uh, see what happens next. Thank you. So now we are in the money. White Ribbon, third place, winner wins $113. The artwork is Girl at the Fence by artist Daniel Sorensen. Is Daniel here? Daniel's not here, so I'll go ahead and accept that money on his behalf. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Gino and we'll have to take Barb. <laughs> Red Ribbon, second place, the winner of $213, the 13th round by artist Susan Holliday. <laughs> the blue ribbon, first place, the winner of $313 is called Wilmington Bridge by artist Roger Walton. Is Roger here? Roger. Okay, thank you, Karen. Um, the Judges' Choice Winners Best of Show Ribbon, six hundred and thirteen. <coughs> pardon me, six hundred and thirteen dollar winner. Or did we just do that? Oh, I'm sorry. Is my favorite doll by artist Shannon Grubb. Sharon Grubbs, I'm sorry. My favorite doll is Barbara, but... I don't need to clean that up. But I, I, will, I will accept the money on her behalf and take my favorite doll, Barbara, out to Catherine for dinner. Anyway, she is not here, but anyway, uh, I think that's wonderful. And what do we have next? Uh, and that's all of our winners of 212 Lucky 13 National Small Works Competition. An exhibition has now concluded. Is that correct, Mrs. Foss? Not until the raffle. Not until the raffle. But anyway, the awards are what they are, and I didn't win anything either. Thank you. Just wanted to mention a couple of things. Um, I you're probably wondering why none of our winners are here. 
This is a national contest, and uh, we have we have most of our winners uh, are from out of state. Fortunately, our girl Susan Holiday uh, was in the big money, and we did have three other VBAA members who were prize winners in the honorable mention category. So, congratulations to all of them. Um, our winner, my favorite doll, is from East Bend, North Carolina. Now, get this, we had three entries from North Carolina. What's this all about? They didn't even know each other. But um, we're happy to have them. Uh, Roger Walton is from Savannah, Georgia. Uh, we had entries from Florida, New York, um, Indiana. Mary Norman uh, with the marbles was from Indiana. So we were really a nationwide contest this year and we're very pleased that these folks have chosen to send their artwork to uh, Mesquite, Nevada. And they were very happy to be part of the show as well. Um, you might like to know that Sally Dill, one of our uh, entries, was a victim of Hurricane Sandy, but she's okay. She lives on the eighth floor of a building in New York City on Greenwich Street, and she was without water or electricity for three days. But she made it through just fine. We talked to her today. She's doing well, uh, and um, we hope she'll be back with us again next year, too. So uh, thank you very much, Gino and, Ka uh, and Karen, for announcing the prizes. Uh, it's almost 5 o'clock, so if there's anybody else that wants a ticket, Please buy that ticket right away because we're going to close the sale. And here's Gino. Thank you, Linda. Uh, just a couple of things that uh, I'd like to mention before closing. You know, uh, in the last five days, we've had uh, 75 golf riders from around the country that are here have been, have been here in Mesquite. They played Sand Hollow. They played uh, um, Conestoga. They played the Canyons today. And we had a wonderful dinner and reception last night. Now, this is an absolute perfect offshoot for golfers. You know, you, you, you've got these golfers that come in with packages to play golf every day. What a wonderful surprise for their wives or siblings or whatever to come down to the gallery, see the wonderful art, get involved with, with the arts community and everything we have to offer here in town. It's the greatest item. So, for God's sake, if you have people coming to town, promote, 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 promote Mesquite and all our 18,000 wonderful residents. So again, thank you guys.